Welcome to the, uh, Pursuing the Martial Arts. Uh, good to do another show with you guys. And it's kind of a special night for me. We're at my gym where I train, Endurance Fitness in North Muskegon, North Winds it's called. Has been for years. And we're gonna cover the different martial arts programs we've got here. We've got some judo, karate, we've got a cardio kickboxing class. And we're gonna have a special time where we show a training routine for martial artists with one of our personal trainers. So stick with the show and thanks for joining us. Okay, we're down in the basement of Endurance Fitness where we've got all of our kicking bags set up. We started a cardio kickboxing class a couple years ago and it's the most popular program we've got going here. Uh, you'll notice as we scan over the crowd, there are no guys, because I don't think the guys, they just get embarrassed. We can't keep up with these ladies. They are awesome. The workout is amazing. The people who get involved in this tell me this is the hardest workout in the gym, and I've done some of it. I know it is tough. They start out their class with about 10 or 15 minutes, and go ahead and take a picture of what's going on here. I'll get out, because I'm not that interesting. They start with about 10 to 15 minutes of warm up, about 40 minutes of rounds on the bag. They start out with a single technique, and then they keep adding technique until they get up to a combination of four or five moves. They do that for a total of four minutes, and then they switch sides, do it on the other side. It gets really loud. I don't know if you can even hear me when I'm down here. They did have this upstairs, and it shook the ceiling so bad here, they had to move it downstairs. Right now, they're just punching, working their arms. We're at the end of their workouts, where they're really drilling hard. We got, we got to get it. Right here. This workout, a lot of people don't, don't think it looks so hard, and it's not too hard for the first three or four minutes. But about 20 minutes into it, you know you're into a workout. First one was hard punch, as hard as they can go. Now they're going fast, going for speed. They do the same drills with their legs doing kicks. And they do combinations of kicks and punches. This particular workout, you're going to get a cardio workout for sure, absolutely. But you're also going to do a lot of strength training. And then they end the class with about 15 minutes of stretching. And it's just a great all-round bodybuilder. This is the kind of training you can come into and you work at your own pace. If you're not very good, or you're brand new, or just not real strong, you can go at a slower pace. The people who want to work out hard or who are in really good shape can push themselves. Everybody gets a good workout. You're not limited by what the other person can do. So if you have never tried this, and this is open to the guys, if you're brave enough. Okay, now they're gonna finish up their class. They'll get into some stretching exercises. We're gonna move on and check out the judo class though, so we won't be staying here with all of this. But thank you very much, and we'll catch you upstairs. We're here with the judo class now, and Andy, could I have you over here? Andy Sharon, did I pronounce that correct? Close enough. Close enough. He's the instructor here, and Andy, what's your rank? Uh, third day in judo, third day in uh, Nihon Jiu Jitsu. Okay, so you've got rank, and now have you also trained in karate? Yes. Uh, okay. Ikkyu and karate. What is that? Uh, brown belt. Okay. Oh, Ikkyu. I'm sorry. I thought it was a style you're talking. It's Gojo Ru, right? Go Gojo Ru. Yeah. I'm a, yep. I didn't heard. I hadn't heard that before. So anyway, Andy's in charge of the judo classes we have going. If you ever have been in wrestling in high school and now you're out of high school, out of college, got nowhere to go, and you still like your sport. The next step up is to get into something like judo. They do. You're focused on grappling. We're not getting into the MMA here. This is more of the sport, correct? Correct. Grappling on the feet, grappling on the ground, both. So it's a lot like judo with a lot. Of, I mean, a lot like wrestling with a lot of extra stuff in it. Yes. Now they do of, teach self-defense. Translate. Yes. And, and that's what they're doing now because of his karate background. He does incorporate that. So I'm just going to let you guys go ahead. But I might, my mic. Uh, if I want to hear anything, I got to move over there with sure. you because it's hooked to me but I'll wander around and we'll see what's going on. Perfect. 